One of my goals for this year is to update the spaces in our home and to bring them into better alignment with my personal style. I don't just want to decorate, I want to decorate with intention. And I decided to start with my home office because it's the space where I spend the most amount of time, not just in working, but I also hang out in here a lot and I exercise in here too. So if you're someone who is on the same path as me, who wants to make some updates to their home office to bring it more in alignment with your personal style, we need a game plan. I'm gonna take you through the three essential questions that you need to ask yourself as you're planning out your space. All you need to get started is a notebook and a pen or your notes app or Notion or, or whatever your preferred method of taking notes. So let's hop into the three questions that you need to ask yourself before you start redesigning your workspace. Begin with a clear space and mind. Take a walk around your room and take note of the items that you no longer need or want. No need to get rid of anything yet, we're just taking inventory. Here are some sub-questions to help you decide what can be cleared out to make space for the things you really love. What items are you no longer using? In my office, this sideboard behind my desk has become somewhat of a relic. It's filled with things from parts of my life and business that are no longer in alignment with the direction I'm headed. I also have books stashed inside my TV stand. I'll keep some, but there are others that can be donated. What tools are gathering dust? My big, and I mean that literally, culprit is this old printer that has been sitting in my utility closet taking up a ton of space and it hasn't been used in years. What documents can be recycled? I have piles of paper stashed in a few different spots in my office and I'm always moving them around and trying to get them out of the shots when I'm filming. Chances are, if you don't know what's in those piles, you probably don't need them anymore. Which decor items like artwork and textiles are no longer in alignment with your style? This shelf in the corner of my office is another cringeworthy area for me. There are some items like my vintage typewriter and camera I'd like to keep, but these books, the clock, the initial M, this fake plant, and this burst thing all feel like decor items I've outgrown. To keep track of my project plan, I'm trying out a new to me platform called Notion, designed to keep all of your thoughts, plans, and even schedules all in one place. I've been using the Notes app on my phone and computer as my brain's command center for years, but I was intrigued when I discovered that Notion has the same feel as Notes, but with more dynamic features that make it easier to stay organized and to collaborate. The best part about Notion is that you can create and share templates. So if you'd like to try it out, you can click below to download the template that I created and that I'm using for my home office redesign. So based on our first question, what's no longer serving you? I've added the list of items I plan to remove and have scheduled the time to take action. Think about the changes that would make your space more functional. This exercise is more about placement and less about aesthetics. The aim here is to make your room easier to operate from and live in. If there's something you're constantly knocking into, tripping over, or that slows you down, this is your chance to address it. What needs to be repaired? Luckily, there's only one small spot in my office that needs a fix, and it should be a quick one. These wires that hang below the piece of furniture beneath my TV annoy me. They're not aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to add a command hook or something behind there to keep them out of sight. What needs to be relocated to a different spot in the room? Part of the reason why I wanted to make space inside my TV stand is so that I can relocate all the books that are currently on the sideboard behind my desk into that spot. Hopefully I'll be able to clear enough space to fit most of them in there. Another eyesore slash annoyance are these weights that my husband recently purchased. I'm glad he wants to be healthy, but I don't want my office space to look like a home gym. So hopefully once I remove that old dusty printer, I can move the weights into that closet where I already keep my yoga mat and my light weights and shut the door. I also need to figure out a better system for storing my tripod, studio lights, and cameras. I've been using this closet on the other end of the room as my podcast recording studio for the last few years, and this space needs its own dedicated project plan. But for now, I plan to relocate all the equipment behind that door. And lastly, some of you will remember the new gallery walls I hung in my office last fall. 
I'll link to that video below. These frames and extra prints are the remnants of that project and need to be relocated to the other rooms of the house to be hung there. What needs to move to another room in your home? The big piece for me is this sideboard. This one kind of falls into the functionality and aesthetics category, but I think it would be better suited in our guest room. I'd like something a little richer to take its place. What needs to come in? And on that note, I have this old dining room buffet piece that has been sitting in my garage, and I think that it might work in this space. And just like at the end of step one, the most essential part of this planning session is to ensure that it gets scheduled so that it gets done. So I'm planning to do my relocating just after I clear out the items I don't need. How can you make your space more to your liking? For many of us, the style of our home offices are a culmination of what we already had, items that have been given to us or from a different period of our life. Just as we did in step one, now is your opportunity to get more intentional about what lives in your space. By this point, the wheels may have already been turning, but before you do another walkabout, I suggest looking at your Pinterest boards and saved Instagram posts. Even if you don't know whether you're exactly mid-century modern or farmhouse chic, that doesn't really matter. The images that you've saved will give you a good sense of what appeals most to you. What are in those photos that you don't see in your home office? Do you need to paint or hang wallpaper? Does anything need to be added to the walls? I was able to identify a few commonalities that appear in most of my saved photos, but are not present currently in my home office. Plants, curtains, lighting, and different rugs, along with some smaller details like candles and vases. What needs to be added to be more in alignment with your personal design style? Use your notebook or my Notion template that you can grab in the description below and compile your sourcing list. Before you take out your credit card, think about what you may already have to work with. Just like I mentioned the sideboard piece in my garage, perhaps you'll be able to find some of the items that you need that are already in your home. For the items that need to be purchased, include a dollar amount, and if you find something that you particularly love, add a link to your planning page. This will give you a realistic view of how much money you'll need for each item, and it will help you prioritize what to buy first and what can wait. Since this section will likely be a work in progress, you may want to just schedule one course of action to start. For me, I'd like to purchase at least one item on my list, partially as a reward for completing this exercise, but also to make some progress towards making my home office feel more like me. And hopefully by this point, you're already beginning to envision your home office feeling more like you. I'm feeling empowered and excited to take on this home office project. And now that I have my plan, I am excited to move into phase two, which is to actually make the magic happen. If you're excited too, and you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button to let me know. If you're someone who's excited about updating the spaces in your home this year, as well as other areas of your life to really design your life with intention and in alignment with your preferences, hit that subscribe button so that we can journey through designing our life with intention together.